The announcement was made after a meeting in Mecca. Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Kuwait are coming to the aid of King Abdullah of Jordan, the nearest monarchy in the region which is not part of the Gulf Cooperation Council. The pledge of $2.5 billion. It follows weeks of protests in Jordan against the rising cost of living and a proposed income tax rise, which has since been shelved. Jordan has uh, always been a crucial country, particularly to the West and, and Arab allies uh, uh, of the West, uh, mostly because of the proximity and the role it plays uh, in the Palestinian uh, problem and, it, and its uh, peaceful relations, uh, I guess, uh, with Israel. So with all that in mind and the current crisis in, in the Gulf, uh, people would like Jordan to somehow take sides in a much more pronounced manner than it has thus far. GCC aid to Jordan to the tune of billions of dollars used to be the norm. The GCC pledged $2.5 billion to both Jordan and Morocco and offered them full membership in the organization seven years ago. Gulf monarchies more or less saw the Hashemite kingdom as one of their own and its stability as being necessary to theirs. But political divisions during the last few years affected relations between Jordan and some of the GCC countries led by Saudi Arabia. Among the issues of contention, Jordan's failure to participate in the Saudi-led war in Yemen, disagreement over the classification of the Muslim Brotherhood movement as a terrorist organization, the final status of Jerusalem, and Jordan's less than full severing of ties with Qatar. Jordan's in an awkward position while trying to maintain its sovereignty. Because of the disagreements, Jordan's Gulf neighbors stopped their money supply. A 3.6 billion GCC assistance program to Jordan expired last year. A serious blow for the economy, which relies heavily on regional and international aid. Weeks of popular unrest across the kingdom seem to have been a wake-up call in Gulf capitals. It's not clear if the aid comes with strings, but the Gulf donors appear to realize that if they let Jordan slide into chaos, there is no telling what impact it will have on their own stability. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.